John Cena looking to make history here tonight on this 1,000th episode of Monday Night Raw. And I can't even begin to tell you how many huge matches we've had over the years, but this may be the biggest. For the 53rd time in the history of Monday Night Raw, the WWE Championship is being defended here tonight. High up. This is about skill and power. You know, it's only appropriate that these two men face off for the WWE Championship on this historic night. King, it was last year in the summer of 2011 when CM Punk dropped his now famous pipe bomb. He then went on to take the WWE title from John Cena and walk out of the WWE only to return and change the direction of this company. And there's the reversal from CM Punk. John Cena with a nice reversal. That'll leave a mark. He saw that one coming. Cena's got him. He reversed it. Good move there. Ow. Boy, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. King, did you know that John Cena was a freshman in high school when Monday Night Raw premiered in 1993? Oh my gosh. And now, 999 episodes later, he's main eventing possibly the most historic Monday Night Raw of all time. And do you remember the first ever Monday Night Raw commentary team? <laughs> yes, I do. Vince McMahon, Randy Savage, and Rob Barton. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rob Barton's performance accelerated my move to the Raw broadcast team. Well, I'm just kidding. I'm really just kidding. Textbook snap mare. Cena's in trouble. Wow, what a sequence. John Cena with the offense. What a shot. Got out of the way of that one. Nice reversal there. Oh, the punch connects. And the knuckles connect. Of course, Money in the Bank was first introduced to the WWE by Chris Jericho back in 2005. And Edge went on to become the first ever Mr. Money in the Bank when he won the ladder match at WrestleMania 21. Yeah, and he then went on to capture the WWE Championship from John Cena at New Year's Revolution. Since that time, Rob Van Dam, CM Punk, Jack Swagger, Kane, The Miz, Daniel Bryan, Alberto Del Rio, Dolph Ziggler, and of course John Cena have all gone on to become Mr. Money in the Bank. Wow, that's an impressive list. <laughs> oh, what's CM Punk going to do with this? Oh, CM Punk so confident coming into tonight. He said in an interview with WWE.com that he will survive tonight, that he will make history. Think about what a victory would mean for CM Punk here tonight at Raw 1000. Think about what it would mean for him to take out the man that has become the face of WWE for the last decade. You're right, CM Punk could some oh, lights out. And these two guys know it. He got it. No, kick out it too. As this historic main event rages on, one can't help but reminisce about the first ever Raw back in January 1993. The main event that night saw The Undertaker defeat Damian Demento. I remember him. Also, Shawn Michaels successfully defended his Intercontinental Championship against Max Moon. Max Moon, I don't remember him, but both were certainly exciting, Cole. But my favorite part was watching Bobby Heenan continually try to sneak his way into the building. Again, Cena has this match, virtue of cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. He won at... And will this be it? You know, and John Cena is your winner. John Cena looking to make history here tonight on this 1,000th episode of Monday Night Raw. And I can't even begin to tell you how many huge matches we've had over the years, but this may be the biggest. For the 53rd time in the history of Monday Night Raw, the WWE Championship is being defended here tonight. Struggling for control. 
You know, it's only appropriate that these two men face off for the WWE Championship on this historic night. King, it was last year in the summer of 2011 when CM Punk dropped his now famous pipe bomb. He then went on to take the WWE title from John Cena and walk out of the WWE only to return and change the direction of this company. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one can come out ahead. a devastating kick from CM Punk. John Cena with a nice reversal. King John Cena had the Money in the Bank contract for just eight days before cashing it in here tonight. Well, you're right, Michael. Only three men in history have held the Money in the Bank briefcase for shorter periods of time. Jack Swagger had it for two days in 2010. Kane cashed his in on the same night he won it in 2010. And Edge held it for one day in 2007 before cashing it in. And it's important to note, Cole, Edge actually won his 2007 Money in the Bank contract by beating that year's original Money in the Bank winner in a one-on-one -on -one match. Oh. And these two guys know exactly what to expect from each other. Don't think for a minute that they're not ready tonight. You know, they know each other so well and were involved in one of the most bitter rivalries in recent memory just last year. You know, I was thinking, Cole, this could come down to a mistake. It may very well come down to just one wrong move. Now back to the ring. King, did you know that John Cena was a freshman in high school when Monday Night Raw premiered in 1993? Oh, my gosh. And now, 999 episodes later, he's main eventing possibly the most historic Monday Night Raw of all time. And do you remember the first ever Monday Night Raw commentary team? <laughs> yes, I do. Vince McMahon, Randy Savage, and Rob Barton. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rob Barton's performance accelerated my move to the Raw broadcast team. Well, I'm just kidding. I'm really just kidding. Uh-oh, what's CM Punk gonna do now? And that series ends in deadlock. Neither one of these superstars can afford to give their opponent the upper hand. Oh, reversal! Ooh. Oh, look at this. Great counter. That kick almost took his head off. The first time the WWE Championship ever changed hands on Monday Night Raw was in February 1997. With and look at the AA. And now the official oh. inadvertently knocked out of oh. the right. Good adjustment to punt. That's it. But wait, wait. The referee was not completely out of the ring. He's out on the floor. Well, Cena had punked out for a three count there. Cena should win the championship. Cena's gonna oh, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Cena, you gotta look out! The Big Show! What a runner with Cena! Oh, we got a spare! Cena almost cut in half with that spear and now oh, what a KO punch! Cena's been knocked out by the Big Show! Well, this victory's just been handed to see a punk by the Big Show. Yeah, but King, first he's got to get the official back in the ring. The official is knocked out of the ring. There's no referee to count the one, two, three here. Punk doing what he can to get the official back in the ring. If Punk can get that referee back in the ring, he can end this thing right now. Well, incoming. Oh, no! Oh, CM Punk so confident coming into that night. He said no, he kicks out at two. Uh-oh, it might be time to run. Cena with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John Cena is so technically sound. CM Punk, here we go. Oh, man. So close for CM Punk, but no. Bam, another kick. Wow, what power! 
John Cena has dominated as of late, and from the way it looks, this might not stop. There's the suplex. As a two-time Mr. Money in the Bank, CM Punk is no stranger to this type of matchup. You're right. In fact, CM Punk is the only superstar to win back-to-back -back Money in the Bank ladder matches. Again, Cena has this match virtue of cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. He won at the pay-per-view a couple of weeks ago. Well, let me ask you this, Michael Cole. Do you think there is added pressure on John Cena, knowing that 100% of the Money in the Bank winners that have cashed in their contracts have become champion? 10 out of 10, but I think because of the night and because of the landmark episode of Raw 1000, both of these men have tremendous pressure to be successful here tonight. time on that one. There's the cover. Can he do it? As this historic main event rages on, one can't help but reminisce about the first ever Raw back in January 1993. The main event that night saw The Undertaker defeat Damian Demento. I remember him. Also, Shawn Michaels successfully defended his Intercontinental Championship against Max Moon. Max Moon, I don't remember him, but both were certainly exciting, Cole. But my favorite part was watching Bobby Heenan continually try to sneak his way into the building. Oh, he's in trouble now. Will it be? Two! CM Punk gets the shoulder up. Man! DDT right on his face! A sick dick breaker. Oh, going to the top, high risk! And CM Punk just manages to roll the shoulder out. A swift kick. Another stiff kick. Not today. Too fast. Bam! Oh, God! 